Hi everybody, I'm Justin with Warren and today we're going to go through some of the tips and tricks when it comes to our Skyline Precision Bipod. Uh, some of the things we're going to be addressing uh, are common uh, issues that people might have with it. They're common questions that we get here and just so you know all the topics that I'm going to touch on today, they are included uh, in the packaging when you get it. If you pull out the backer card, it opens up and there are full instructions inside. So read your instructions. It will help. But some of the common questions that we get have to do with the pan and cant ability as well as the leg positions. So something that's unique to the Skyline bipod is that the way that the bipod comes packaged from us, you're going to have a three position leg at the front of the bipod and a rapid deploy at the rear. So in the front, you're, the leg is going to lock into zero degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. Whereas if you move the leg to the rear, there's a cam and it can rapid deploy. Some shooters prefer to have the rapid deploy feature at the front and the three position at the back or vice versa. And that is user changeable. So sometimes we see people running their bipod backward on the gun, which I, I, it still works, but it's actually putting your, your tension wheel at the front so it's harder to get to. So we're gonna show you how to switch around those legs. And then the other thing has to do with the panning and canting ability of the bipod. Again, how it comes packaged, it's going to be able to both pan as well as cant. Some shooters prefer to be able to lock that pan feature so the rifle will only cant. And we can show you how to do that as well. The first thing that we're gonna do is disassemble the bipod. And it's, it's quick and easy to do. In the back of the bipod, there's this adjustment wheel for tension. And you're gonna loosen that wheel until you can release the screw and the wheel will come out. And then there's this bottom strap that comes underneath and that can be popped off. When I remove the legs on one side of the assembly, uh, there's a small Allen head screw in there. And how we would disable the panning ability is to tighten this screw a few turns and snug it up. Don't reef down on it. It doesn't need it. Just snug it up. And now when we reassemble the bipod, it's not going to be able to pan anymore, but it still will be able to camp. As far as the leg position, you get to pick which side you want in the front, which side you want in the back. In this case, I'm going to reassemble it so our rapid deploy is going to be toward the front of the bipod. And we're going to reassemble it the same way that we took it apart. You can place the tension wheel and screw back in. And now as we tighten it up, you'll notice that it can no longer pan, but it can still cant. So those are just some helpful tips when it comes to our Skyline bipod. If you have any other questions, please visit our website at warnscopemounts.com. Uh, or give us a call.